Today the weather outside is pretty gloomy, with snow and rain, making it a perfect winter day, and I'm determined to brighten it up with a hot and delicious dish. Maybe some lamb would do the trick. Lamb is a favorite in my house. As soon as I start prepping, my furry friend eagerly joins in. And speaking of prep, there's the wood to be cut. Who's gonna do that? Chopping wood is no easy feat, especially when dealing with logs from the old fruit trees in my garden. They're too old, casting too much shade and depleting the soil. Getting these logs to catch fire is a real challenge. I have to create some kindling by carefully carving out chips. These chips are like magic, easy to ignite and perfect for starting a cozy bonfire. Once the chips catch fire, they generously share their warmth with larger logs. Since I'm preparing lamb the old-fashioned way, I need some special components, like stones. Testing one. Nope, not quite right. Time to fetch some river stones, giving them a good wash before use. These stones will serve as cooking and grilling material, and getting them to the right temperature takes some time. They're the first to hit the grill. Now, let's tackle the carcass. A young lamb means this won't take too long. Sharp knives are a must, and I finished the sharpening process with a special tool we call a moussat. Cutting through the fresh meat reveals its juiciness. Neck and tail first. followed by separating the legs and removing unnecessary inner fat. Lamb meat is naturally juicy, so we only keep a bit of fat. Did you know lamb meat has low cholesterol? The best part ribs or rack of lamb, each carefully cut off. The meat plate is full. Now onto the veggies. Shallot, red onion, carrots, zucchini and celery.
potatoes, tomatoes and parsley. Get a quick wash in spring water without peeling. Everything gets a rough chop, and the tomatoes stay as they are. Time to put some dead wood in the tandoor to start heating it up. A friend sent me a cowhide. No meat, just a quirky gift. I'll thank him for the lamb horns I'm cooking now. Just kidding. The cowhide is a crucial part of the process, so I remove the excess fat. You'll see why later. I spread the cowhide in a part facing up and start filling it with meat and veggies. Meat first, seasoned with salt. Followed by veggies and of course some rosemary. While I'm prepping, the firewood with stones has burned out. I collect them and add them to the meat. They start cooking, maintaining a consistent temperature inside. Time to close and secure the sack made of cowhide. After a good mix, I tighten it with a metal wire, removing any unnecessary skin parts. You can already see the steam coming out. Next step, burning off the hair from the upper side to avoid any unpleasant smells when it burns. A portable gas burner makes this task easy and convenient. With a knife, I finish the job. Charcoal bars are in the oven and I hang the sack on top, keeping some distance from the hottest part. The lid goes on to retain the heat.
time to check. Steam is rising with a light aroma of cooking meat. Handling the hot and heavy sack, I don't take any chances. A lifting block comes in handy for the operation. Tasting time. Dinner time. I place the sack into a basin, open the metal wire with pliers, and use cooking tongs to retrieve the piping hot lamb. Fresh homemade bread, marinated vegetables, and a juicy piece of lamb rib. A perfect meal. Super. Super. <laughs> 